Are you nervous? They're going to get the earrings right now. Don't worry, it hurts a lot. <laughs> Only for one second. Just it'll feel like this for two seconds on your ears. I'm freaking out. <laughs> Silently. <laughs> Silently. We need to make sure we, our ears are clean every single day so she's less likely to get an infection. Uh, My hands are Amelia, shiny. Amelia My hands has feel her hands. Straight ahead, sweetheart. She's just going to mark this mark. She's just marking you. That didn't hurt a bit. They want to record it. You ready? One. Did you guys record it? Yeah. That doesn't hurt. Great job. That back part didn't want to leave. Wow. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. So remember, we want to clean our ears three times a day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. After each cleaning, we need to make sure that we twist our earrings three times to avoid the skin growing around the ear. One, two, three. We want to use one cotton ball for one ear because if one gets infected, we don't want to transfer over dirt and bacteria. How long do I do this for? Like for three weeks straight. But you need to have something in your ear for up to one entire year so the hole doesn't close up. So you need to have earrings in your ear for up to one year until your next birthday. Got it. Mm -hmm. Amelia, how was it? Truthfully. It wasn't bad. We're celebrating Amelia's ear piercing. Texas Roadhouse. I have never been here. Have you? I have. Does uh -huh. your hair smell in the wind? Uh-huh. Is your favorite color rainbow?